Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid al Bishi and I am a respiratory therapist. Today we'll show you how to set up the bubble CPAP system. So first, after you collect what you need like oxygen blender and your bubble CPAP system kit and the nasal uh, prong or the mask or what we call it the interface, we will see how to set up our and now we will start set up our bubble CPAP system. So in the beginning, you will connect your oxygen blender, the oxygen air, and the medical air also. And your electricity for your humidifier. After that, you will take your humidifier chamber from your bubble CPAP system kit, this one, you will insert it in the humidifier. Then you will take your pressure release valve, this one. You will put it on one side of your humidifier chamber. After that, you will take one meter oxygen tube or green oxygen tube, it's enough, one meter. You will connect it between your flow meter and your pressure release valve. After that, you will take now your inspiratory limb, the blue one, you will connect it on the other side of the humidifier, on this side, then, now we will connect our cables for our humidifier. We found it, the opening on the side of the humidifier. And the end of the humidifier also. The other cable for the sensor also for the humidifier. One. In the beginning of the inspiratory limb, the other one in the end of inspiratory limb. After that, we will take our bubble CPAP generator and we will refill it with the water until the black line or the limit for it. So I already put water inside it. We'll put it here, and it should be below the patient. It's okay. After that, we will take the expiratory limb, the white one, and we will connect it into our bubble C bab generator. Here, in this side, as we see. So I connect my expiratory limb, I put back my uh, bubble CPAP in the place. So now after I connect everything, the oxygen tube, my uh, humidifier chamber, my bubble, inspiratory and expiratory limb, there will be the last piece, the flow test. It's a small piece, this one. We will connect it between the inspiratory and expiratory limb to check our system, is it working properly or not. So now, after I connect everything, I will put my flow to, and I will put my pressure at 10, and I will see if it's working or not. As we see right now, it's working properly. There is bubble, and you can hear an edible sound. This is good, that means our system now is ready to connect it into the interface then to the patient. So now we're talking about, we're already talking about setup of the bubble CPAP. Now we will talking about the troubleshooting. How you troubleshooting the problem that happened with the, your device. First, if there is any leak, your bubble CPAP, it will not work. Like example, I will remove the sensor this side. See, after I remove it, there is a leak 
and as you see here there is no bubble and there is no edible sound so I will fix my problem which is a leak in the system I will put back my flow sensor it's working properly or your flow meter is already off you didn't turn on your flow meter also it's not gonna work so the most problem or the most common problem with bubble CPAP is the leak so you have to make sure that your system is connected well there is no leak and everything is okay thank you so much